How much of Saint She do you remember? How much of it do I remember? Yeah, I guess a good amount of of, of average movie goers amount. I've only seen it once. I was watching a clip of it today on YouTube. Was just some guy talking over it, and I forgot that his aunt. Because I actually laughed out loud in the theater. Thank God that it was only like four of us in that bitch. But when he was in the, uh, was it Talo or whatever her village is called or some shit. And uh, the aunt is talking to him about whatever, trying to show him how to beat his dad and the rings and shit like that. And she started fucking swag surfing. Do you remember that part? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I, I laughed so fucking hard it didn't make any sense and i'm sure nobody knew what the fuck i was laughing at but she started goddamn do i'm uh, like oh this is all the way turned yeah, like, damn, she swags over this bitch god damn <laughs> Yeah, I bet nobody knew what you was laughing at. It was probably yeah, like, what's on? Like oh, fucking man. crazy person. Check this shit out, dog. Um, so my kitchen is finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, right? Mm-hmm. They called me and told me the plumber's going to be giving you a call later. So just look for the number or whatever. The shit pops up on my phone. I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm playing a game, and my phone, like, you know, buzzes or whatever. Absolute best P. What's up? That's the name of the plumber, right? <laughs> That's the name of their company. That's great. Absolute best P. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with it. I like nah, it. I like it. Nah, nah. Check it. Like, think about you sitting there with your old lady waiting on a plumber to call. So you got your phone face up and shit, and absolute best P pop up on your shit. You can't. You gonna get somebody fucked up waiting on somebody to fix Nigga. your sink. And imagine, imagine that's her phone that go off, and you in the kitchen cutting up goddamn onions. <laughs> you look over at that bitch. The fuck? Somebody, a, a, a nigga in your old lady phone, absolute best p, and you wrote the whole shit out. Absolute. Yeah. Somebody, you know I how, might get black. That's like I've, heard, you know, you've ever been in a pussy and you look down, you like, man, that's some good pussy. Like you say the shit out loud. Yeah, that's ladies. That is the height of how good your pussy can be. In my opinion, just a dude just saying that his brain has disconnected and he's just mm-hmm. looking going down. This pussy good, girl. I that's disagree. that's what's what's the number one? Why you in it that you say? Bitch, I'm about to come. No, that's at the end. I'm talking about when you like no. you like two, three strokes in. You said you the height. In. You said the height. Not of you climaxing of where you just you said- know. This That's the best. Is. That is that is the best compliment that you can get. I'm about to come. But we've talked about on a previous pod that can't be the best compliment because you know your stroke to make you nut. So that's not on her. If I come without telling you I'm coming, then your pussy probably trash. See, I was thinking it'd be the other way around. No. If no. I if I nut and I haven't like told you, it was a surprise to me. <laughs> I, oh no, 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 shit! No, no. Okay, this is over. <laughs> this is over. I, I, I would, I would hope that that doesn't happen to people. Like I, if if your if your pussy is good enough that I try, I tried to tell you and I didn't. That's one thing. Okay. But if I'm just trying to get shit over with, if I just try to get this shit over with, and I'm like, uh-huh, I don't know. <laughs> take that. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> yeet and just. All on the belly and get be gone. Yeah, and shit. thanks. Let me go. No, ahead. no. I think Wash I you think off of me. For, for it, like as far as the compliments go, because you can't get too creative while you fucking. It's like your pussy good, girl, or some shit like that. Like if you just talking, there's only so much to say about right. the pussy. To be That's honest. what I mean. Like, so can you? I, I'm wondering, can the ladies imagine a dude being like, "This is the absolute <laughs> best mm. I've ever like absolute." I think that would gas a chick for the rest of her life hearing that one time while you in no, the pussy. She gonna still think you lying. Nah, I really believe all of them think they got real good pussy. Every last one. I think they think they got good pussy, but absolutely. That's like, 
it's like, absolute it's like, it's like hey, it's like if you a dude and if you believe the girl she tell you that's the best i ever had oh well of course she's already lying no of course you know if she's you got you got confidence in your own shit to know that she's telling the truth no no you don't because she stopped because then she she still ain't gonna act right nigga that's how you know <laughs> They get, they get crazy after you fuck them right. No, they get real. Up. They get a, real. A, a motherfucker, a, a chick that don't respect your meat would talk to you and treat you however. A motherfucker that's scared to lose your shit, be like, they might talk that shit a little bit, but then they got them get that feeling, they, that feeling in their gut, like, ooh. ooh oh, oh, right. I ain't ooh. never gonna feel that in my. In I my forgot. Sp- I forgot. I forgot. You want some waffles? I need my spleen poked. <laughs> Tell me, dog. <laughs> Maybe, but yeah, man, I'm looking at this shit on my phone right now. It's say absolute best P, and I'm like, I can't save this. Like, <laughs> you can't, you can't save this shit. Like, I got to save it as something else, or I got to spell plumber out. What if the plumber? Yeah, what if the plumber that show up is a bad chick? Like, she just bad. At, hey, how you doing? I'm absolute best P I'm here to. Search. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think. I'm being set up. Right. I'm like, I, I know how porno start. And, it's, and if she bad, right? So exactly, she come up in the absolute best P truck. Everybody in the mm. neighborhood see this big ass absolute yeah. best P truck pull up, like it's the bang bus yeah. or some shit. No, and a chick get out with a tool belt. She coming in the house. I mean, <laughs> I mean, she has, she has, she have a job to do for sure. Yeah, but now I'm wondering if I should like like so so what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you just here for that? Is that is that what we that's doing? It. Let's let me see that invoice real quick. Let me make sure that's all I paid for. Yeah, and then look, then she leave and don't do shit. One star on Yelp. Do you want you want a forty dollar tip? Not forty. <laughs> that's, st- that's still market price. <laughs> it ain't going. Pandemic dog. Yeah, true that. True that. Hey y'all, back, back again. Yeah. Welcome back to a Legal Opinions podcast, the last place for real talk. It's episode eighty seven. I believe. Yeah, we're on 87, mm-hmm. dog. Uh, listen with an open mind to leave mad. The choice is yours. I'm your comedian host, Sam Ridley, in the Sam, building. You get on my last nerve. Here with my man, 100 grand, Marcus Palmer, in full effect my today with the, the feathered red on. Dirty. You know, I guess we, we both went with branding today, apparently. Oh, damn. Right. Yeah. Was, okay. I got you. Yeah. Some of my, my vintage line. Um, <laughs> my vintage line. <laughs> <laughs> Thought no, you was an old nigga. I mean, hey, you know, you gotta poise yourself, Ray. You gotta poise yourself on the <laughs> bottles. Uh, no, when I look at back at like my merch game and shit, Brandon was up here talking about. He's like, this nigga had shirts. He had been doing open mic for four months, and mm. I've always had that hustle. But every iteration is different. So from the first shirts to the skinny people problem mm. shot glasses right. to these t shirts, uh, you know, and and the wristbands and what we're about to come out with in two weeks, it's. When I look and see the people that have what, I can tell how long people have been following me. Like it's gotcha, like, oh, gotcha. I can tell, I can tell where the real ones are by what I'm putting out and who got it. Like, you know, oh, you got Blu-ray. Okay. Yeah, you know, I and them, did you see that shit when I posted it? I po this told me motherfuckers online don't read a goddamn thing you say. Like absolutely nothing. I said, yo, I done sold out of all of my Blu-rays except one. They're gone. I think mm. I'll keep this last one comment section a gang of likes hundreds of likes and then people hey let me get one i'm gonna inbox you let me let me let me order one from you you got let me hit me up no they they saw the picture they saw the picture with all the with all the the blu-rays in the background and they didn't read the rest of it they just went with the oh he's selling dvds let me get one so that's all that they cared about and i mean i get it when i put it on instagram no, but I think the difference is when I put it on IG, nobody said that. When I put it on Facebook, people was asking for copies. I don't know what the yeah. difference is, but hmm. people don't read shit you say at all. Most times, I mean, that's what Facebook is for: not reading and just giving an opinion, just reacting to whatever the image is, just reacting to whatever's you know whatever's you know spiking their blood pressure that day. Yeah. Well, apparently it was blu-rays and nobody has a blu-ray player anymore so that's kind of interesting though man you remember that race it, it was, was it was uh hd hd, HD or the, blu-ray and and it was simple and plain the blu-ray had a <laughs> blue box it was i mean that, that was a playstation thing though that's why that went off like that well from what i after i like did the back research what i found out was 
porn back to Blu-ray over to HDs. Mm. And whatever yeah. the porn industry follows tends to end up being the industry standard. Because as much I as I see that people act like, you know, they they not into it. They everybody watch porn. Like everybody is, at some point will dabble and check it out. And if that was what it was gravitating towards after DVD, then that was the format. I don't know if porn outweighs Sony, but I can see I can see them both being kind of hard to take either way. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, either, man. E- I, either I'm, way, um, I'm trying to nut. I mean, that, but that, that's what that's what killed the Dreamcast was the fact that the PS2. It wasn't that it was a better system, but the PS2 had a fucking DVD player in it. Yeah, that's and that true. was it for that Dreamcast. Like it was damn, fucking over. Because s- shit, know. since PS2, PlayStation has been my player of whatever disc is out. Like right now, my mm. PS4 is like basically my cable box with a Blu-ray player in it, but I don't use a disc no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I think I think that holds something. I think that definitely holds something. Anyway, man, anyway. Um, we just bullshitting around. Um, shit, without further ado, man, I want to say uh, prayers. Please rest well, my man, AJ Johnson. Um, mm-hmm. Some of you may know him uh, way better as Ezel from Friday in a fucking iconic role. People still yeah. quote that shit. Um, every day i got the hookup he did a lot of those types of movies but wherever he was at his personality stood out in that movie so yeah it was shocking to see uh definitely a statesman with especially you know shit martin jamie fox you know soul plane and fucking house party house party yeah yeah man definitely a legend so you know rest in peace to him and um Prayers for his family and and fans, friends, everybody, man. That's a big. You know, death is. Death is usually it's been a, this year has been fucking crazy when it comes to to this, because you kind of. Like if Tom Selleck died, you'd be like, ah, oh, he's an older guy, like been around forever. You kind of. That's not a, that big of a surprise. But. The deaths we're having this year and the ones we had last year were fucking surprises. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't think. Well, they haven't released the cause of death for him that I've seen. And um, everybody was saying it probably wasn't COVID. He's 58. Mm-hmm. And we don't even think of the people that we grew up watching Friday and shit. Our our stars are getting older. Yeah. Than the ones we grew up watching. Um, It was upsetting to see his uh the the kind of turn of events so a gofundme went up for you know his funeral cost right and um it took like a while for them to even reach like 400 to 800 dollars and all these people i was seeing all these posts hell i put one up when i took a picture with him and you know it was like damn only 800 dollars and then uh somebody from his estate, I think it was his wife, she came out and she was basically like, What what was all the love? What's up with all this yeah, fake his love? Wife. His yeah. wife, yeah. What's up with all this fake love y'all gave him since y'all love him so much? How come y'all won't help me put him to rest? Mm. Um That's all that. I hate to say this. I really took an issue with that. That was interesting to me. Um, just yeah. the just the way that she did it. And then, of course, after she made that statement, TMZ picks it up and they've met their goal now. <laughs> I mean, you know, right. after something like that goes up, like you're the gonna goal do was it. twenty thousand. Goal was twenty thousand, and right now I checked it just before we started there at thirty one thousand four hundred and three, because it got that attention. Um, we know AJ Johnson, mm. and by we, I'm, I'm pointing at Marcus, but I know the black community knows him, and anybody that mm. has ever seen one of the Friday movies. But the older we get, when you start asking people about Friday, as much as a lot of them know Smokey. I hear a right. lot more of them talking about next Friday and Friday after next. It's almost like it's starting oh, to kind of yeah, it's starting to kind of be a bigger gap there. So I don't know. A part of me was kind of like, is it the fan's responsibility to take care of you when you pass as an artist? That was a question I asked myself. It was like, can mm-hmm. she really come at the fans on some, oh, y'all ain't giving me no money now? Right. Or is that I mean, obviously she's emotional right now. I would feel a way too, I assume, but I don't know, man. Something about it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It made me think, like, do I feel like my fans owe me that if I passed away tomorrow? I don't think so. Um, as a fan, you've provided me a lifestyle. you provided me a living if you paid for anything that I've done. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Like if you have paid for anything I've done, it's like it's like being an athlete. Um, and you be, you're being paid by you know from ticket sales or whatever else you know that that's a part of your that that is that goes into your salary. Right. So if I'm fucking Mark McGuire or Sammy Sosa or fucking Barry Bonds and I've made a lot of money doing these things that you have paid for as fans who cheered me on, taking pictures together, I've fucking signed shit for you. When I when I'm pass away, your job is to remember me well. Well, to hope that you remember me well. If you do, put that positivity out and let's live there. Like in that memory of, you know, um, in that capsule, when I die, it's not up to you to pay for my funeral. Right. And, and the, but my thought in it was like, shit, is this a cold thought right now? But I was like, no, we got to talk about this because this is the other place that it took me to. Right. So he passed away. We know mm-hmm. him from these iconic roles. Just off the top of my head, that people that are still alive that are celebrities that went broke, Mike Tyson. At one point, yeah. Holyfield, uh, Iverson, yeah, Latrell Sprewell, like all types of people that Mike you know, Vick, <laughs> Mike Mike Vick, Warren Sapp, like yeah. all of these people are still alive, yeah. and ain't nobody going. Well, we need to make sure that they're good. So if I don't see them putting up GoFundMe's while they alive, like Mike Tyson, he had hit kind of rock bottom. He started doing more shit. Shit, a couple times. Yeah, he, you know, his one man show, which was fucking great. I don't know if y'all haven't right. seen it out there. Um, you know, you see him in in movies and shit. And his, yes, he's iconic, but he was like, I got to get back on my grind, doing some other shit. I don't know, man. You, the 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 fake love part is what bothers me. Like, I don't know what you guys have been doing with your money over these last however many years. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what he's been like. If you've, God forbid, I don't know, hypothetically. If you've wasted your money on bullshit, it's not up to me to come through and save you as a fan. Okay, now you, you your goal is twenty thousand dollars, and I'm I'm only kind of irritated about this because she's coming out sounding like super fucking selfish to me. Okay, so yeah, she, so she so you, your goal was twenty was twenty k for the funeral. All right, cool. You have thirty one thousand dollars now, and you'll get more between now and then. Because I, I would, I would imagine you're probably gonna push that date back a few more days in order to garner some more cash from the fans that are showing you all this fake love. So, if the goal was twenty k for the funeral, and that's the price that you put on love, what are you gonna do with the rest of that fucking money that people gave? What are you gonna do with it? And to me, fake love is the money that pops up after you bring it up. The, exactly the, the 800 that you got before you came out and made this statement in my opinion kind of shitting on his fans mm. i mean you know what i'm saying like uh i just went and looked it up and the last movie he did was shit i got offered a part in it i got the hookup too in 2019 <laughs> um, i ran into a cat and he was like yo we doing i got the hookup too and i was like nah man i'm cool <laughs> but, uh shit you want to be in there with game and shit <clears throat> yeah I, th- I think i missed that boat I think it's Master P on that bitch too. But um that was the last thing he did and before that like it was it was kind of spotty, you know. Um he's always done more like the underground movies for the homie type of stuff. So for for me you are as much as I understand your intention when you put this out. Mm. You're very much shitting on the people that did respect him, but shit, we in the middle of a pandemic too. And yeah. a lot of people just don't have money to just be giving to people's GoFundMe's. People need their funds. So right. all of those factors in play, it comes across real selfish and then it jumps up. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of these donations that got it that high that fast were from celebrities. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this was just, oh, everybody was like, all right, she right. And they went ahead and threw some money in there. I don't I don't think that's what happened. I mean, if anything, uh, you you shoot at the fans. You know, you don't know what these fans have. You don't know if fans can afford to fucking give you whatever you need to make it to twenty k. So the assumption that you're making as far as y'all ain't real fans is fucked up. Why don't you write that fucking letter to fucking Ice Cube and Chris Tucker, them niggas, Mike Epps? Like, why why aren't you writing to them niggas, but you want to shoot at the fans? Yeah, yeah. That's so shit. to me, like that's why I think that's the, that's the, I don't like that shit, man. Like. 
Just cause, just cause I, I like you. I don't even fucking know you, bro. I like, I like your art, and I paid for your music, your, your movies. I mean, I paid for your art. Now I gotta pay for your funeral. Yeah. And if I don't, I'm fake. Yeah. That made me want to say some things to you that I'm not gonna say right now. But if this was me and this was real life, yeah, that'd be a fucking problem. Yeah, that would be fucked up. Like for me, if you've ever came to a show, <laughs> you know, and paid to get in. Or bought a, a shirt or a shot glass. You paid in full, man. Like, you didn't did what you had to do to help support what I'm doing. And what you did with that money is on you. Exactly. I gave you my money. I it, received what I was supposed to get from you. You got what you're supposed to get from me. That's the end of the transaction. Yeah. It ain't no, hey, here's a shot glass and put something on my, my funeral, by the way. <laughs> that's not, that's, just, I don't know, man. I, and, and look, I know some of y'all's listening like, man, I can't believe. Yo, that shit rubbed me the wrong way as an artist as a man for somebody yeah. to have the audacity to go man y'all fucking fake because you ain't taking care of me right now and i ain't got your phone number it's kind of wild like that's the shit people do out of the kindness of their hearts and what came out of the kindness of people's hearts was eight hundred dollars off top you know like well, and also people look at gofundme now was like ah uh, that shit kind of sketchy I, everybody go up going on to gofundme for all kind of shit yeah it like I, I've seen people do it just because they want to go on vacation. I mean, I've been working yeah. hard, and you know, I could really use a break, man. You know, Nick, so you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> me too, right? Like, what? What, what do you mean? Yeah. Thought, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. Uh, you know, and we gonna <laughs> we gonna keep it pushing on your vacation. Like that's how I would do for that. sure. Like that's I, I mean that's I don't like the way that I don't like that. Um, enough said there, but yes. Absolutely rest in peace, AJ Johnson, man. Like, um, 1000%. When, when I just my little story on him, I met him at the J Spot in LA. Mm -hmm. They had a comedy festival out there. Any of y'all that saw the picture that I posted on Instagram, that nigga looks like he does not want to be in the picture with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, real shit. He looks like the angriest dude you'll ever see. Um, so people asked me after I took it, they was like, God oh, damn, did you like rob him before or some shit like yeah. that? I was like, no, but somebody else did. And I never really told anybody what happened. So mm. um, we're all there and up on stage, the host is kind of giving a spiel, telling us, you know, this was going on for the weekend, whatever, whatever. AJ's sitting in the cut with his people. Nobody's really bothering him while the comic is on stage. Right. And then they was like, yeah, we're going to have AJ come up, do a little bit. You want to do something, man? And he was sitting there with the same demeanor that he had in the picture I took. And as soon as they did that, smile came on his face. He jumped up on stage, did his thing. That motherfucker is hilarious to watch. Because any of y'all that have seen him, you already know. His personality alone, he can say whatever the fuck and you're going to laugh at it. Yeah. And he went up yeah. there and he did his thing. He did his time. He got off stage. Host comes back and was like, man, that's how you do this shit. We're going to take a break. We're going we're gonna to be back. As soon as we do that, it was like you could see a sea of people kind of rush into that corner. Ezel, yo, mm -hmm. bobbing and weaving, dog. Dog, that shit was Friday was a long fucking time ago. Can't get away from it, man. And and don't get me wrong, that's the mo that's the role everybody know him for, right? Yeah. He don't like being called Ezel all the time. Yeah. He's tired of that shit. I'm sure he is, dog. Like I've done that was however long I've done so many other things. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm still known as is being the crackhead. In, on friday yeah i mean but it, it was it was a i i mean it was an iconic role we like you said before we still quote that shit to this day nigga right. so Th that movie was lightning in a bottle it just was yeah so i mean it's unfortunate that they have to live in that every day um you know but <clears throat> so i mean i think that was just like, like a thing like that uh dave Chappelle says like you know don't come in, I'm, I'm with my family like don't come over talking about i'm rich bitch like right dog, i don't need that yeah, I'm I'm done with that. So by the fourth person that did that shit, I'm standing there. Right? And we looked at each other and I was like, I'm cool, dog. And he like mm -hmm. cracked half a smile and was like, You good, man. Let's take a picture. I don't be smiling in pictures with niggas though. Yeah. And I was like, I respect that. It's whatever. And we took a picture real quick. And I was like, I appreciate you, man. And he was like, Appreciate you too, dog. That was it. We ain't had no mm -hmm. long conversation. Me and him That's ain't enough. besties. But yeah. I saw enough people fuck up <laughs> and think they being the cool dude to remind him he was yeah. Ezel, like he forgot. Yeah. And he was just done with them niggas. So I would venture to say if I didn't have that little short interaction with him, 
he still would have looked that way in the picture because he was done by then. Like, right? I bet he like, man, I fucking hate comics. I bet he like, I don't even want to fucking be around y'all because I already know what y'all gonna do. Well, that he probably didn't. He probably didn't come out to go up that night. He probably wanted to just go out and chill, watch some comedy, watch some young cats get their shit ready. You know what I'm saying? Uh, tighten, maybe, maybe just listen and maybe trying to figure out how to tighten up some shit he wanted to do in his mind. And you can't and just cause, chill because people calling you a crackhead in the corner. And, shit. and you can't because. And then the guy on stage is like, "Hey, guess what we got in here?" He's like, "Fuck." Yeah. Well, I, and then like we, he be walking through, and you hear somebody yell, "Smokey taking the shit!" Like, oh, it's like, come on, y'all. Yeah. What are you doing? But anyway, um, while we're on, let's let's talk about prayer real quick, <laughs> just just because okay. we're on it, and then we'll get to a, a careers prayer with uh the Washingtons, um. Mm-hmm. So, uh, while we're in the the realm of you know praying for for everybody's uh mental health and safety and all that good stuff, there was a high school shooting in Newport News at Heritage High over the weekend. Y'all know I'm from VA, that's seven cities for me, and it hit me a little bit closer to home because uh a, a girl, well, she's she's an ex, but she's a comic, a friend of mine, she's a teacher at the school. And mm-hmm. everybody was, you know, is she okay? Is she okay? <laughs> right? I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm sorry. Like, I know. My, you, my, I know. I know how your, your brain thinks a whole different way. And <laughs> I know that. So thank okay. you for letting them know that. All right. But, sorry. um, you know, everybody was, you know, I hope she's all right. All that good stuff. And of course I did too. when I found out what was going on. <sighs> eh, this is legal opinions. This is what we do. I'm, I'm, I'm giving pause because it's going to sound fucked up. All right. Okay. So I saw that she was okay. Mm-hmm. Absolutely ecstatic that she came out of this unscathed. So mm-hmm. when I look at the post from a family member of hers, where they say, "Hey, just so y'all know, I've heard from her; she's fine." The comment section was all, "Look at God! Right. Ain't God good? God covered her in the safety. You know, I'm so glad she's okay. I was praying for her to be all right. Right? Mm-hmm. Four motherfuckers got shot though. Yeah." God don't I, like them. Right. It is, it's, and, and I know that that's not where people are taking that because I've seen it in other places too. I saw a chick talking about how she was so thankful that her house didn't burn up, but the neighbor's house did. And she was like, right. look at God. God saved my house. <laughs> look at God. He burned down everything around me. Yes. <laughs> but we good. We got a little smoke damage. Oh, sure. But we good. God was kind of fucked up. <laughs> like, like, right, like, man. Like, like God burned down everybody else's shit. And was like, hey, you keep you got a you got you keep the party going, girl. We you know, I got you over here. So it I yeah. don't know, man. In in my head, I understand the sentiment. Mm-hmm. But logically, you said, I'm glad you're good, and a kid got shot in the cheek. Yeah. And some more shit happened. It's it's yeah. I'm like, so is God good over there? Because those same people will go, you know, in church, they'd be like, Ain't God good? And then the whole congregation go all the time. Not all the time, apparently. Not apparently not. Apparently, you can get shot in the cheek. Yeah, yeah he don't so, give a fuck about little Travis. Is that? Am I wrong in thinking that? I mean, you already answered it, but like to me, it comes off very. My prayer only extends to the people I know, and what past, people you care about. Yeah, but ain't you Christ? Like you are supposed to care about everybody. I mean, that would be that. That's what he wants, but that doesn't. You know, that doesn't transfer over to you know. The selfish ones. That's, I mean, it's just. I mean, and and of course, like people try to find the happy in the hell, and in in that kind of madness, yeah, you're thankful that somebody that you love, you know, didn't perish or get injured in that. But you gotta think about, um, like I said, I think I think I I try, and I don't know how how to say it. I try to think around everything. I see. I see an issue i try I, I think around the issue i try to see from all angles yeah if you're saying like if, if let, let's just say that there are people that are friends with uh home girl whose people went on there and said thank god you're great you're good whatever thank god thank god and then somebody on that friends list or a friend of a friend or seven degrees of separation some kind of shit sees that and their kid is the one that got shot in the fucking back right you know how, you know how fucking furious I would be? Right. And that's, that's what I I'm would saying. be fucking. Look, look. No, you don't understand. I would be motherfucking furious. 
I would yeah. be fucking furious. We might be done as friends. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. No, after no, I, no, after, no. After I cuss nigga. you out, we're done. I will be fucking. I might come to your fucking house. Like I would be furious if you're talking about. Thank God I'm good and all your people talking about you. We gonna see how good you are. Cause I'm fucking. My kids got shot in the fucking back. I am fucking livid that you talking about fucking ain't God good, bitch. I'm gonna show you. I'm God. I'm gonna show you. I mean, see, see, almost, see. almost mm, lost mm, it. Mm, I almost mm. lost it. I almost lost it. But look, like, no, I don't like that shit. I don't like yeah. that shit. Don't do that. This, that don't shit do that. should have you I don't like it. Cause, cause it is. It's very like, like, like the example with the neighbor. If I'm your neighbor. And I'm outside and my phone buzzed because let me tell you what happened with this shit, dog. She even had a picture of herself out in front of her house with the smoke of the neighbor's house yeah. <clears throat> on fucking fire going mm. my house was saved because the wind changed. Mm. Blah, 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 blah. I wish I would be a neighbor and see you standing in the yard. If I look out my window and see you still out there, Yo. I might give you a bear hug while I'm on fire, like running out my house. Like, nope, we all going today. We all going. I might you burn your house down. This, you might. You seem to think this is cool. Like, I'm about to go through hell with my family. Don't and celebrate God is in the middle good. of my. Don't celebrate in the middle of my. Of 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 I'm collapsing. I am in a whirlwind of shit. I can't. If no. I, Cause you might be like, "Oh, look at my house. That shit's cool." Blah blah blah. Ain't God good? Now, if I'm a religious person, you saying that God got something against me? I might burn your fucking house down tonight, bitch. <laughs> I might. Hop us in his chance. You said that shit so casually. That's what made me laugh. I'm sorry. I'm no. I'm, I mean, I'm for real. Like, yo, like, nah. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like. I would ne- I never dance on somebody else's grave. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that shit. And 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 people are so people get on social media and get so fucking stupid about the shit that they say. They're so insensitive, even though they think they're showing how much they care for somebody. They could be pissing me on somebody's grave over here on to the left. Like I'm going through hell because of this shit. She's saying she that she survived well, without you gotta, unscathed. You got to th- you got to think though. Like when yeah. it's you and you're posting on social media, it's just you and your phone. You're not thinking about everybody else so you better I don't, be all of the all of this we're saying i don't believe that any of the people i'm talking about posted it with the intent of i'm gonna be insensitive to somebody else this was about sure. me i'm okay mm-hmm. it's the comment section that bothers me they didn't Did, even in the main post it wasn't a she's okay and i don't give a fuck about nobody else it's the people underneath that's like god saved her with his blood on this one and stuff like in her that. in her post did she say anything about thank god i'm okay but i'm praying for the families that have to deal with the tragedy of the day and the ptsd that comes with these kids getting shot right. like did she say that shit the post she, if, if she about- says that i don't care about the comments the one I'm talking about isn't from her. This is somebody. Okay, this is her. This is a family member of hers saying, "I heard from her. She's right. fine." And then under all of that, it was the well. I'm so glad she's okay. And I, at the same time, when I saw this, that's what made me go to the news story to see, like, is everybody okay? That was the first thing I did. Yeah. But I feel like when people get on social media, they are not, they're not thinking about the big picture of anything they say. It's a quick thumb tap and post right it don't matter if it's a picture or not so i mean you know it's it, I mean, people people do that and some some of them care but some of them just want to look like they care like some of them some of them are, are lying <laughs> but they oh, want to oh. be part of, of the care train let me let me post so people so people can see that i said that i care and thank god or whatever else people be lying you know what 100%. Saying? But fuck it. 100%. So, shit, 100%. speaking of lying speaking of lying tucker carlson so <laughs> you be yo you be on tucker head um van jones yeah <laughs> you be on they got them neck. i don't give a fuck hey look man whoever it is whoever it is i'm gonna be on aoc ass right after this so i don't give a fuck who it is it is what it is but anyway so tucker carlson was on uh he was getting interviewed on some youtube channel by a conservative you know far right leaning guy and he openly admits to lying Openly missing lying. Um, he says, I'm looking look for the quote right here. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Now, this is one of Fox News' premier fucking anchors of their, you know, there's supposed to be news shows, but I think they're qualified as opinion shows. Right. But he has a huge following. So, Tucker Carlson said, I guess I would ask myself, like, I mean, I lie if I'm really cornered or something. I lie. I really try not to. I try never to lie on TV. I just don't. I don't like lying. I certainly do. (laughs) Out of weakness or whatever. That sounds about like a Tucker statement. I mean, I don't think you can hold him accountable. I don't. I don't. I don't think you can. <laughs> you you he's, can't. He's like anytime I get cornered I'm out of lie. weakness, I'm gonna lie. He just, he just basically said, "Hey y'all, just so you know, I'm a whole business in these streets. <laughs> I'm a bitch out of this world. Like I got a little dick, all of that. Like, but this is you can't hold him accountable. Like, think about just the way that sentence was put together. There's no poise." There's no man inside of that statement when he's somebody that is not bound by the rules of a regular journalist because they just he's he's an opinion based analyst. So when you're opinion based, nothing you say has to be true. The problem is the people that follow him take his word as gospel. Yes. So it's not it's not on him to tell the truth. He knows what he's selling. But you 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 believe your opinion. So you're on TV. You're on TV arguing your opinion. And then when you get cornered, you have to pivot into a lie. Because it's not entertaining for him to go, oh, you're right. That's not what people are tuning in to him for. But what kind of, like, how, and, and now I don't, I used to watch him a lot, and I haven't watched a lot of news lately. I, I'm kind of newsed out after the last, you know, the, the other four years. Um, but I remember watching him somewhat recently. And after reading that quote, Cause he always looks kind of fidgety. Oh yeah, on all camera, the time. all the time. Always, always looks nervous, right? Like someone's gonna take something from him. And now I know why. Cause you're 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 scared. You're scared because you might have to lie today <laughs> <laughs> and not know what the fuck to say, and, <laughs> and not know like your opinion can get destroyed today by somebody. <laughs> and you gotta find the lie. Like I gotta find I gotta find somewhere to go with this shit. Like I gotta lie now. Right. I have to. And if I and to, if I don't, openly, it's gonna be real fucked up. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm I, and then to openly admit to openly admit in an interview that you lie, that is fucking wild. Oh well, I mean, like I said, I don't expect much from him. I just don't. I don't watch him. I know you. You know you. I think you normally just have the news on when you're just chilling. Yeah, you know what I'm saying sometimes I have it on. So yeah. you know, and and I know you're the type that likes to see both sides. You want to see what the other side is saying. Mm. I respect the fuck out of that. Him. I don't know how you stomach watching them. And oh I, no 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 no! I just picture you no, cussing no. out your TV all day. I used to, dog. I you that's I, I I was turning into my dad, bro. Like my dad used to watch Fox News like a motherfucker. And I asked him why. I said it before in the podcast. I asked him why, and he says you have to know what the other what the opposition is thinking. So when you're talking to these motherfuckers around the streets, smart man, and you run you run into a cat that start talking that Fox News shit, and you like no because you know if you I, I watched that. And what he actually said was this. And if you look at this over here and you start, you know, comparing and contrasting, you know, those those two different news cycles, but um, or news sources, I'm sorry. But uh, I stopped that shit like. After. And I used to I used to watch him and uh, Sean Hannity and I watched the motherfucker and I could feel my blood boiling with these lying ass white people on TV. And then after them. It's another, it's a lady that comes, I can't remember her name, like I said, I haven't watched it in a while. But anyway, um, after, after the election, I stopped that shit. Like, I don't watch a lot of news at all now. Like, either my TV is off, or I'm watching some shit on YouTube, like we were talking about earlier. Like, I'm watching some YouTube video about whatever. Um, but uh, I can't, like, that shit is so disgusting. It's so gross. Like, especially Fox News. I know MSNBC is super, like, they, they really far left-leaning, and they got their own agenda as well, but... Like Fox is just like a cesspool of just fucking. You look, they 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 say fair and balanced, and there's fucking like three or four black people that you see on TV over there, and and they love that line because 
for whatever reason to that base, it gives them validity. Oh, they're the only ones that's fair and balanced. And I'm like, so you tell us not to believe all of the taglines and the media, and they give you a tagline for their media, and you yeah. wholeheartedly believe everything that they're saying. And I know we've been crazy. We've been down that road a lot. So I'm yeah. not even going. No, we, this is it's a long one. We ain't got to do that. We ain't got to do that. Um, where can we go? Where can we go from here? Um, you say AOC since we talking about political yeah, we shit know. right now. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. What 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 is it that <laughs> is on your heart about uh, Bay? Is it not weird to you that she don't have no boyfriend? Like you never see her with nobody. Do you think? You, do, you, do you think you? Could, and this is not. No, this is not what I'm talking about. But I'm just. It just popped in my head. I saw it. I felt like I could see it, like triggering your mind. Like she ain't got no dude. You don't ever see her with nobody, bro. Like you. Is that not weird? As 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 attractive as she is, as successful as she is, you, you don't think it's weird that she don't see her with nobody ever? I would. Uh, Who do you think it is? I'm gonna get called a misogynist, and I know they're gonna Go use ahead. that word wrong. I bet okay. she talked too much. <laughs> <laughs> No, tell me you don't picture her constantly going off about something. I I agree. I'm so I like and and I love. I don't get me like I think she's beautiful. I love the very fact smart, that, very very Brilliant smart. Woman. I yeah. love the way that she stands for what she says, and yeah. then she backs that shit up. I love all of that. I just feel I bet in a relationship like think about the scrutiny that she goes through. Yeah. Now picture you just trying to go get a bagel. <laughs> Like, just Bruh. going to have a cup of coffee. And this dude's in your face trying to figure out what the fuck she doing and this and that from the media. I bet a dude is like, man, fuck all this noise. As soon as anybody even think they dating. I mean, then you add in the fact that she's <laughs> she's from New York. Yeah. I, and she's I, Hispanic. <laughs> so you put them to that cherry on top Woo! of the rest of that shit. Oh, I, I wonder. I'm like, yo, you never see her with a dude, and never. you know, Cash had to be hustling. You, she, she's a good looking, very successful woman. You know, people gotta be, or at one point anyway, had to be going hard at her, or maybe and she used to be a bartender. Maybe, she, oh man, maybe she's just good at keeping her shit, you know, under wraps. Nah, son. I mean, seriously, like, I think a lot of these older politician dudes, they don't know, like, the younger game, so they're real messy, you know, that's how you I'm always... talking about niggas, I ain't talking about older, I ain't talking, <laughs> you, you think, <laughs> you think these motherfuckers don't know where she stayed, bruh, nah, I, I yo, you yo, know, I, you know I, she lived I, in your building, 100%, right? Dog, I lived in D.C., and I used to go to those kind of those little bars every now and again, little social clubs or whatever, you see people that work in politics, like, it ain't, ain't a thing. Right. So I know she's out in the street, but it's got to be a thing about people just not anyway. <laughs> about the point that I wanted to bring up was <laughs> that was great. Uh, <laughs> the dress there was a big stink all over social media, all over the news about her wearing this oh, dress. Tax it says, rich dress. Tax the rich. Yes, she looked great in the fucking dress. She's a great looking woman. It's just they go hand in hand. But my thing, I saw this shit, and I kind of sat back down, and I was. It was going over in my mind over and over, going over and over it. And I came up, I just kind of came to the real to the realization is of or the question I get asked myself is when is a stand not a stand? When is a stand not a stand? And this one was it? Yeah. There's a because huge irony in wearing that dress to the Met Gala. That's what I mean. And I mean, yes, some people, I mean, a lot of people don't know a lot about the Met Gala, but it's invite only. Most yeah. of the time, what they're wearing has been donated because, yes. you know, whatever designer, because so people are all, oh, you know, how she going to holler all of that? And she's over there at this super rich, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it's gaudy. But obviously it worked. The, if the point was to get attention and get that dress all over the Internet, it worked. The ironic part for me is and a lot of people just don't pay attention to shit um but i when people wear stuff like that i wonder who made it and and why you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. but the first thing that pops up is the company is aurora james Mm -hmm. that's the company that put this dress together for her and uh tax the rich all over the back aurora james has not paid their taxes they have 15 warrants out (laughs) (laughs) 
since oh, since man. 2015. Uh, they the records from this is from New York State Department. Warrants were issued from 2015 to 2021 in New York's and Kings County, and the amounts vary that they are behind in their taxes. <laughs> That's amazing. That in and of itself. I don't want to hear shit you got to say about this dress or this. I'm not you, but like people that right, no, no, or her stance on it. I'm like, you yeah. picked the wrong people to make this dress for you. Yeah. Anybody that should have been a rich person with a good name that has paid their taxes and donated the dress to you. That would have made sense. Yeah. Or just that would have made fucking, sense. Go get some shit from, you know, fucking forever 21 or. Target or some shit. You like, can't wear some regular shit to the Met Gala. Kim Kardashian showed up dressed like Noob Saibot. Nigga, yo, I saw that shit and I was like, if I was in that shit, I would have had a panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, this motherfucker was covered head to toe in black. Like, who has got her by the leash, like pulling her from place to place? That's how she likes to be. I mean, but we in public, baby. Like, I know she the, covers for head the to toe in black. No, that's what she. That's her. That's, that's her shit. But that's for the room, though. Like she was, be- she was wearing Ray J skin to that bitch. <laughs> 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 oh wait a minute! <laughs> uh, I saw that shit and I was like, "What the fuck is she? Who is that?" Now, you know what? You know what would have been great. You know what would have been great if that wasn't her in that shit. <laughs> <And> she <laughs> she was never there. <laughs> she was never there. <laughs> Even with just fucking one of the twins and that shit. This fucking... <laughs> but oh, um, that's the a like the, the dress. I, I thought the dress. I, well, I thought her going there destroyed. Um, the hypocrisy was in being there. Well, that's wrong. The hypocrisy is going inside and going and having a fucking great time. If you show up to that shit, okay, somebody had to. Okay, she didn't pay for the ticket. The ticket. Thirty thousand dollars, like 30, 30 grand, like you said, um, is sponsored. Somebody else pays for that ticket f- so you can f- so you can go to the event, right? Right. So if you wear that dress, tax the rich, go take pictures on the steps, then leave. That's a fucking boss move. That is a boss move. Well, fuck all this bullshit. I'm not going inside. I see this nigga Lil Nas X and had four fucking changes of that wardrobe and shit. I don't know what this nigga doing. Kim Kardashian looking like a goddamn ninja. <laughs> I'm <laughs> fucking ASAP Rocky's wearing a blanket for God's sakes. I'm getting the fuck, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I gotta go. ASAP Rocky was chilly, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I heard he got my baby pregnant too. Yes, yes, man. I'm um, sorry, man. sorry to hear that. Congratulations bro. to you guys, happy couple. Shit, we both going through it. Jennifer Lawrence pregnant, so. Oh word! Yeah, dog. I can't believe she did that shit to me. Who's I, she fucking? I I don't even remember this nigga name. I don't respect. <laughs> <him. laughs> we salty in a bitch right now. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I can't afford that Rihanna child support no way. So no, knock yourself out. Asap. I went I, like three different people hit me up and was like, "Yo, did you hear?" I was like, "Y'all ain't shit." You hear? Man. Did you hear? Right? Like, come on, That's man. Funny. Like, I I love that girl, but hey, I'm I'm glad you're happy. Like, <laughs> mm, bitch, feel like feel salty like a nigga on Titanic. I hope you enjoy your hey. time together. <laughs> Yo, okay. <laughs> he was salty as hell watching his girl run down the hallway with with a hell yeah, a, with a broke nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you run towards a broke nigga. You run towards a bitch, a broke nigga. <laughs> They not even gonna let him get on the boat. Yo, I'm gonna lock that nigga up next to the toilet. You just wait. You just wait. He been like he be locked up right by the plumbing. He was so salty, but look, Rose hit him with. I'd rather be his whore than your wife. That hey, shit. Hey, while, while a boat, think about somebody saying that to you while the boat you on sinking. Yo, I mean that's rough, dog. That's no, that is. We all might die, and that's what you want me to drown with. That's what you I'm want me to be. die in cold water with. Yeah, I'm cha- hey, oh yeah, I'm chasing man, you all the way around this sinking ass boat now. Like I ain't got shit else to do now. Nothing. You rather be you rather be his water baby. They the same thing. Like just come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the same shit. Like you want to live with a chimney sweep, motherfucker? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? 
Oh, all right, man. Since we kind of like in the in the in the in in the in the dating realm, I guess in the baby mama realm. Um, I want my I want I want my flowers before I go. I want my flowers. We had a we had a conversation a long time ago on this podcast. Our guy Brandon West, friend of the show, got to get him back on this bitch. Um, we having a conversation about naked and afraid, and I asked mm-hmm. you, would you fuck? Yeah. Out there on naked and afraid, and he was like, "No, nah, because it can't do stink. it. The price stink." So now, 